I'm honored that today's markup includes HR 958, the Protecting Moms Who Serve Act, a bipartisan bill to address maternal mortality among veterans, which I proudly introduced with Health Subcommittee Chairwoman Julia Brownlee and Representatives Gus Villarakis and Brian Fitzpatrick. The United States is currently confronting a maternal health crisis. We have the highest maternal mortality rate in the developed world and significant disparities for women and other birthing people of color. Some of the drivers of adverse maternal health outcomes can be even more prevalent in women who serve. For example, one in three women veterans report that they experience military sexual trauma, which is linked with risk factors for pregnancy related complications. With unacceptable maternal mortality rates for all U.S. mothers and unique risks for veterans, we must ensure that the VA is providing the highest quality maternal health care and support for moms who serve. Currently, prenatal and postpartum care covered in the VA medical benefits package is provided in the community, even as pregnant veterans and new moms continue to receive other health services in the VA health system. To coordinate this care, the VA has established maternity care coordination programs as described in a VHA directive. My bipartisan Protecting Moms Who Serve Act would codify the programs in that VHA directive, which include new provisions to offer screenings and treatments to pregnant veterans with mental health conditions, as well as measures to strengthen community partnerships with groups that support new moms. The VA's maternity care coordination programs have been successful in ensuring that veterans can receive high quality, culturally appropriate care and robust support throughout pregnancy, during labor and delivery, and for the full year long postpartum period and beyond. By codifying and strengthening these programs, veterans will continue to receive the world class care and support that they've earned. The Protecting Moms Who Served Act would also invest in trainings for community maternity care providers so that nurses, midwives, and physicians caring for pregnant and postpartum veterans understand the unique needs of their veteran patients, particularly related to mental and behavioral health conditions that may have been caused or exacerbated by military service or the transition back to civilian life. These trainings will ensure that veterans receive care that's responsive to the lingering physical and psychological impacts of their service. Finally, my bill would commission the first ever comprehensive study of maternal mortality, morbidity, and racial and ethnic disparities for veterans. By having a complete understanding of the extent to which our nation's maternal health crisis extends to our veteran population, we can help develop solutions to improve outcomes and save veteran lives. I would like to thank Chairman Takano and Ranking Member Bost for including the Protecting Moms Who Served Act in this markup. I urge my colleagues to vote in favor of today's en blanc and support this critically important bipartisan legislation. I would also like to thank Chairwoman Brownlee and Representatives Bill Rockus and Fitzpatrick for co-leading this bill. I look forward to working with members of Congress on both sides of the aisle to get the Protecting Moms Who Served Act signed into law. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back.